Woodworking. Micro Jig, maker of the Gripper. Work safer, work smarter. If you subscribe to a number of woodworking channels on YouTube, you may have noticed something interesting happening today. Bookends. This is the idea of Jack Howling, who invited a bunch of us YouTube woodworkers to create and design a pair of bookends and release that video on the exact same day. None of us know what each other's project is going to look like. My design gave me a good opportunity to use my scroll saw. I'm really looking forward to seeing what everybody else came up with. I'm gonna use this quarter inch cherry plywood for the cutouts and I've got some thinner eighth inch plywood I'm gonna use for the backer. I'll paste my cutting template on with spray adhesive. I'll drill a few starter holes for the scroll saw blades to fit into. I try to keep my scroll saw patterns really simple because I'm not very good at scroll sawing and I'm using this antique scroll saw <laughs> which has its own challenges. To make the frame, I'm cutting one inch wide strips out of this poplar. I'm setting up a quarter inch round over bit in my router. Here I'm using a straight bit to route out a groove along the inside of each of the frame pieces. I'll use my miter sled to cut all eight of the side pieces. Right here I'm fixing a mistake that I tend to make every time I cut picture frames and make miters is that I cut one of the miters going the wrong direction and then I don't have enough material <laughs> to fix it because those miters take up a lot of space. So rather than cut more strips and route them out and do all of that, I'm just hooking it together. I'm gluing it on to another piece and I'm going to recut just this one. <laughs> Well, I guess I can glue up this other frame in the meantime while that one's drying. Well, that turned out pretty invisible. I think once I sand it, it'll be less conspicuous. And take two. Let's see if I have better luck this time. So remember, in woodworking, there are no mistakes, only skill-building opportunities. For instance, my skills at repairing miscut miters improve every single time I make that exact same mistake. <laughs> but I can glue that one together now. This one is done. Oh, well, good morning. I can see how this all turned out. I've got a cove cutting bit in my router to shape just three sides of each of these base pieces. To route out these end pieces, I'm gonna use a backer board so that it doesn't fall into that gap. I'm using my stack of dado blades to cut a real shallow notch in each of these bases. I picked up this small piece of aluminum at my hardware store, so it'll fit down into those notches like that. But first I'll attach each of these pieces to their bases. 
And this just gets glued on flush with the back. While those are drying, I can cut out these two aluminum pieces. And I'll sand down all the rough and sharp edges. I'm gonna drill two holes in each of these. I'm adding a countersink so the heads of the screws will fit flush. I'm going to attach these to the bottoms using both those screws and contact cement. For contact cement to work, you got to apply it to both surfaces and let it sit for at least 15 minutes before you put them together. And once those have dried for a while, it creates an instant bond when you put them together. And of course, you just want to be careful that you have it pointing to the back. And I'll finish these with spray lacquer. And finally I used some contact cement to put some felt on the bases of these. Well, I'd like to thank Jack Howling again for inviting me to participate in this project. I think it's an interesting experiment. It'll be interesting to see how everybody else interprets the same project. Check down in the description for links to everybody else's videos who participated. And I'd like to thank you for watching Woodworking for Mere Mortals. You should know that I post brand spiking new videos on this channel every Friday. I'd love to have you subscribe. Oh, and if you have any questions for me, I've started a new feature on my other channel called Ask Me. Please post them over on Twitter using a hashtag AskMimo and maybe I'll feature those in an upcoming video. You can see my first one right over here. I posted earlier this week and while you're there, I hope you'll subscribe to Mere Minutes, my other channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next Friday.